is Alex and welcome to Tech Flow. Now, you're probably thinking, why have you got this hammer in your hand, Alex? You're on a tech channel. And for me to explain that, I need to tell you what happened two weeks ago. I was in a field, quite a large field, close to where I live, at a car boot sale, and I bought this hammer and this computer. Is this the right keyboard layout for you, United Kingdom? Yes. So Alex, what are you doing? Why have you picked up this computer for £10, kind of fixed it, put an SSD in it, and are now putting Windows on it? Well, I'm doing that to demonstrate something really, really awesome. Let's just go ahead and give this computer some Wi-Fi. A first gen i7 processor at 2.8 gigahertz, and then we've got six gigs of RAM, do -do -do. Safe to say, however, though, with the current specs that we've got here, and together with the price that I've paid for this thing, we're definitely not gonna be doing anything too heavy on this computer. So to fix all of that, I'm gonna go to a website called shadow.tech. Right, as you're looking at this on your screen, you may be thinking, Alex, this is just, this is, this just seems too good to be true. How can for $14.99 a month, I get a full HD experience, have a GTX 1080 or equivalent in my computer, a 3.4 gigahertz processor with four cores and 12 gigs of RAM? Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is download the Shadow software onto my computer and log in with my account. Now, the software is also available on Mac and Ubuntu, and you can also get an iOS and Android version. Now, when I went down to the shadow offices, it was super, 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 super cool. They had, and this isn't out yet, but a full Windows 10 experience running off an Android phone that had a dongle plugged into it that was outputting HDMI to a screen and also had a USB hub for a full-sized mouse and keyboard. So it was a Windows computer just running off an Android phone just sat there on the side. Right, we're gonna authorize this device, give it a name. I'm gonna call it Old HP. PC. <laughs> Hang on a minute, I'm just gonna stop the video there for a second because I carried on recording that video and realized that I was actually only using a 1080p monitor. I had a haircut this morning, by the way. Hopefully, hopefully I'm looking good. Okay, trust me, me bringing this is gonna make this whole thing seem even more magical. Ah, okay, let's see here if this computer is gonna be able to output 4K to this monitor. No. That's so annoying. Oh well, this is still gonna prove the point that you can play AAA title games or pretty much do anything on a computer that is that old that it can't output 4K. So we'll launch and log into the Shadow software. And there we are, as you lot can see, we are now on a brand new desktop. We are now on our Shadow that's hosted in the cloud. Now you lot will be thinking, Alex, surely the lag is gonna be so bad that you can't play games on it. And well, I would think the exact same, but I'm gonna go ahead and launch Modern Warfare here. One thing I also really like as well is you can click on this little shadow icon in the top corner, and then it's gonna give you these graphs so you can see what your latency is and how much bandwidth this is actually using. And Shadow say that you need about 15 megabits of bandwidth for this to work properly. Everything on here is maxed out, and I am also, by the way, recording my screen on the Shadow PC, so you guys can see that too. But yeah, I mean, um, where are you? Where are you? But you see, that isn't really what's making me love Shadow. I mean, that, yeah, that's cool. But let's say you actually have a device that can output 4K, like this MacBook here, but it can't play any games. So it is really annoying that the sleeper that I picked up from the car boot sale isn't outputting in 4K, but we have my MacBook here, I've got it hooked up to this 4K monitor, and I've launched my Shadow. MSI also sent us out the GM50 mouse, the GK60 keyboard, the GC30 controller. This is the DS502 and it plugs in via USB. The quality is unreal. I don't understand. Picking out people left, right and center here. You see that, you see that on my Shadow PC? You loving it, you guys are loving it. After about 10 minutes of using the Shadow PC, you just forget that you're using a Shadow PC like it's unreal. Now this is all 100 megabit a second 4K footage right here. It's playing absolutely fine and I can also scrub through the footage, like as if this is some sort of beastly editing computer, like this is mad. Right now this is running off my MacBook, but it could be running ugh, 
off this sleeper PC that I picked up for £10, albeit only in 1080p, but it is what it is. If you have a device that can output 4K, you can go for one of the higher packages with Shadow and have 4K support like I've got here with the MacBook. This just looks so pin sharp on this 4K monitor, it's unreal. So I'm pretty sure here guys, it's safe to say we've built the ultimate sleeper and MacBook setup for gaming with all of this MSI gear and it is important to know as well, you get a gig down. Look at the upload speed. I think you guys can tell but I, I, I really, really like this stuff. This is awesome. Okay, so let's talk pricing. Obviously this costs money per month to have and if you're going to want 4K with ray tracing like we've got set up here, you're gonna have to go for the ultimate or infinite packages. But Shadow have actually hooked me up with code MarsBar, so if you use that at checkout, you get five pound off boost, 10 pound off ultra, and 15 pound off infinite. I'm really, really impressed with the service that Shadow are offering. I'll put all those links down in the description for you guys. But for now, my name's been Alex, and this has been TechFlow, and we will see you in the next one. Adios. Yes.